Okay, so uh, let's let me teach you about uh, uh, Riemann curvature center. So why not? Because I'm bored. So, okay, so let's see. Is it working? There we go. Riemann curvature center. Okay, so suppose we start with a grid on a four-dimensional manifold. So let's, uh, you know, any manifold. Uh, we define a coordinate system. So we'll call it x1, x2. Uh, we we start with uh, some constant a. Then x1 becomes a plus uh, delta a. X2 similarly b. Uh, x2 equals b plus delta b. Okay, and we define a point. So a, b, c, d. Okay. So what we we're gonna do is we're gonna parallel transport a vector along this grid. So suppose we have some vector v. It's been parallel transported from a to b to c to d all the way back to a. And uh, so this is known as parallel transport. According to the definition of parallel transport, it is uh, covariant differentiation with respect to uh, the vector v along v, along covariant differential v along uh, with respect to v equal to zero. What is covariant differentiation? Well, it is just by definition. Uh, it's just this, um, which is just v alpha one plus uh, Krishna for symbol v mu. Okay, so this whole thing is set to zero. Let me just double check mu mu one one is with respect to this alpha. Of is here. Yes, okay. So this is a Christopher symbol. This, well, well it's just by definition covariant differentiation. Uh, equals zero by power transport. Okay, so what is this? Oh, by the way, this is, well, you will see, this is just the derivative. Just, just, this is the most, I don't know, it's just physicist notation for derivatives. It's fucked up, but it's just what it is. Okay, so now this is V alpha 1 equals this okay all right so what is this this is just as I said this is just a physicist notation for differentiation which is um, weirdest shit ever um, okay oh and this is of course this is the uh, physicist notation for covariant differentiation uh, it's a comma it gets it gets more weird okay it gets weirder Okay, now let's see if we take the derivative. I mean, if we take the integral of this, we all know how to do that in Cal one, right? From a to b. We get this with respect to x one, right? I'm including from a to b, so x one. So what is this? Well, you know from the phenomenon of our calculus from Cal one. This is just V alpha <coughs> A minus, I'm sorry, V equals to this. Okay, now what is this? This is integral from A to B. This is a line integral from A to B. So I can uh, I can rearrange this equation now. I can say this is just from A to B. So this is, well, I'm going to go from A to B, but what is A to B? A to B is from A, uh, is A well, X1. I'm integrating, I'm integrating X1, X1 from here to here. A to B, A to B is this line, X2. So this is my line okay okay so 
now we can do this. So this is what we get from integrating from A to B. Okay, um, we parallel transported the, the vector. So now we do B to C. Oh, well, by analogy, we can get that this is just from uh, along this line. So x1 equals a. Uh, so Christopher symbol always oh, going through here. So x2. And this is 2, this is alpha. Now we can go from B to C. Wait, we went from B to C. Now we go from C to D. Oh, by analogy again. Now we get a plus sign because we're going backward now. Right? Because this is positive, then this is negative. So negative, negative, positive. x1 okay now again let's do this uh, let's do it one more time let's go from D to A now this is our final point so our initial is I initial A and our final F final A is A F A to D and this is along the uh, x1 equals A Okay, so now we have, well, let me just double check if I did everything right. So, AD, so along the line this, so, so this is X2, yep. Okay. All right, so now we have four equations. We can add them. Let's add those four equations. One, two, uh, I mean, five equations. Okay, uh, I mean, yeah, four equations, A, B, C, D, right, right, so. So now if we add this together, so we get oh, this is high. Oh, if you can see it better. Okay, so this equation, this side, add it up, this side, add it up. Oh, you can already see all the B, C, D cancels. They all cancel. And let's add all the integrals. Oh, let me write this way. You know, I'm going to add this together. I'm going to add this together. This one minus this one. All right. So now, <coughs> now we have two equations. I mean, now we have one equation. Let's move this to this side. So this becomes. And uh, this whole symbol. Well, Okay, so let's stop for a minute. Okay, so on the left hand side, I have the vector uh, EYU at FA minus the vector EYU at AI. And the other side, I have this. Or let me just not bother writing again. But what is this? Let's look at this. So this is x2 equals b, and this is x2 equals b plus delta b. And there's a minus sign, and everything inside is the same. We know from Cal 1, once again, that this is, uh, what do you call that, fundamental law of, of calculus, right? So I can rewrite this as, well, because it's that too, it's just the derivative with respect to x2. Right, this is this derivative. Add this one of a. Sorry. Uh, 
Do I write a b a? Sorry, this is a. Let's see, x two. This is x one. Why did I write? A? This is a. X one. So x two a a plus delta a. Um, x one. This is x2, why did I this is 2, this is 2, x1, mu, dx2, dx1. Okay, so, uh, oh, we know what this is, for small values, dx1, this is just delta a, dx2, this is delta b. But if this is our constant, very small or very small area, we can move this out of the equation. Also, now physics will say, well, it's approximately right, so we're gonna get. Oh, let's just define this is delta a equals to delta a delta b. Well, because this the whole integral over here, this in, if we move this outside of the integral. We get this, but this is just delta a, right? So delta a delta b times this whole thing here. Now uh, you already have. Uh, well, this is already uh, Riemann curve C time sure except you can't recognize it yet Riemann curvature times because this is written in terms of partial derivatives now in general relativity we can't just do that we have to write it all in terms of Christopher symbols so what that means is we're gonna take the derivatives so by using of course product rule so everything here becomes well, uh, just don't like this. Just everything in here becomes this. Okay. Okay, so, but remember what is this? Remember we're doing parallel transport. By definition, look over here. We have this equals to this. So now that means we can rewrite this as Okay, so uh, what else? Um, okay, so let's plug those in. Okay, so we have this equation now. Uh, we're not done yet, but let's see what we can factor out. We have we have v mu v v right, but why don't we just do a change of variable here? So like v v u mu and mu v v right. So we can do that. Similarly here.
Okay. Now, once we have v mu v mu v mu v mu v mu v mu, we can factor this v mu out. Now we get this. And this is known as Riemann curve symmetry. Oh, if you want to be more exact, you can like, well, I mean, one, two, people don't actually like one or two, you can say one equals alpha. No, I'm sorry, I have alpha. We can let a one be beta, two be uh, sigma, so you can rewrite this as r alpha mu beta sigma. And so this all then becomes uh, beta alpha mu p beta alpha plus alpha mu sigma beta minus alpha v uh, sigma new beta v and this is known as recursive correction answer and the nice thing is in flat manifold and this is equal to zero oh, so this is not how we know um, the wall is flat I mean the uh, no, I'm sorry. This is how you know the Earth is not flat, because uh, in flat, if it's flat, uh, the flat, um, the manifold will be Dirac correlation will be zero.